Today, I would like to demonstrate for you our number line clock. This is just a wonderful way for kids to understand the concept of telling time, which we all know can be kind of difficult at times. I'm gonna lower my camera so you can see how this number line clock works. Okay, here's the number line clock. It's about the size of my hand, so it's not too large. It also has a little stand on it, so you can stand it up, which I love, because you, as a child is learning to tell time and you're asking them to uh, make the clock be different intervals of time, they can stand it up like so. It also comes with a handy parent guide that goes through step-by-step step how to teach the child how to use the number line and how to tell time. So kids, I guess, need to learn the concept that a clock is just really a number line that is folded into a circle, right? So I got two, I got an hour hand, I got an hour timeline, and I have a minute timeline. And if I first bring out the hour timeline, you can see here that it goes from one all the way to 12. So this is the hour timeline for each of the different hours. And I'm gonna place it on the table and place that hour hand underneath one of the hours. So if it's underneath a three, like I'm showing here, it is three o'clock and it's not four o'clock until it is on the number four. So even if I'm in between those two numbers, it is still three o'clock until it hits that number four. So you can do that by placing it down on the table and putting the hand where you want the child to, to read from and they can look on the number line and see that it is three o'clock. And you can see that they can tell by just looking at this that there are gonna be 12 hours in, in that number line clock. And then after they understand that concept, you can fold up the number line and place it back into, back into the clock, take the hour hand, place it back into the clock, and then do the same thing. Okay, where is the arrow pointing now? It is pointing to the three. And then you can move the hand to like maybe between the three and the four, but let them know it is still three o'clock until it actually hits that number four, like so. And then you can do the same thing with the minutes timeline. So on the minute timeline, you can see it goes from five, counting by five intervals up to 60, because there are 60 minutes in an hour. So they need to understand that concept that there's 60 minutes in, an, in each hour in five minute increments. And then it also has the lines between the five minutes so they can do the individual minutes. So again, I'll take my number, my hand, and I'll point it to perhaps number 20 and ask them how many minutes is it pointing to and they'll say 20. And I can move it over maybe three spaces to the 23 and then they can say it is pointing to the 23. So that's how they're gonna understand that minute concept. And then of course you could also put that back in the clock just like I did with the hour hand and um, start teaching them uh, the minutes concept in the clock. But then you can also take them both out and you'll use the hour hand again to point to a certain time. Like here again, it's three o'clock. And if I point it to the 20, then they can tell me that it's 320. Then it's also a great time for them to write that number digitally, like the three with a colon and then the 20. So they can write that time out digitally um, while they're learning the analog time. And then you can move the, the hand. Now it's 323. And even if it's even if it's between the three and the four, and I have it way over here on the 40, it's still 340 until I reach this number four. So you're not gonna say the hour of four until that hour hand reaches the number four. Then of course, you're gonna to want to put both hands back in the clock again. And if you are confused by which, which side to put in the clock, um, there's a little picture of a clock right here. And that tells you that that's the one that goes inside the clock. So we'll put that one in first. Oops, I'm sorry, the hour one goes in first. Fold up the hour one, put that one in first. That one also has a little clock picture on it. You can see here, so you know which one goes in first. And then we'll put the minute one in and then we'll put both hands back on the clock again. Actually, I think, the, I think the hour hand goes on first, doesn't it? I can't remember which way I took it off. Okay, so now we can do the concept of time on that number line. So they can see the counting by fives all the way up to 60. And right now we have three o'clock. And now what time is it now? So because it's pointing to the three and the 25, it's 325 or maybe it's 327. And again, it's not gonna be 427 until that number, until that hour hand is on the four, and then it could be 430. So just a, a very great way for them to learn the concept of time, and then again, write it out digitally so that they can see how that's written out in the digital time. And then ask them questions like, what time do you get up in the morning? And have them um, move the hands of the clock to what time they get up in the morning. What time does your school start each day? So maybe, 
Maybe school starts at 8, 10. And that's what time school starts. What time do you have lunch? And ask them to move the hands to whatever the lunch time is. What's your bedtime? So again, quiz them and have them move the hands of the clock to whatever time um, you're asking them. And of course, again, it stands up just like that. That wonderful guide that comes with it. Our number line clock is surely going to help you help your child or your grandchild or anyone that you're helping to learn how to tell time to very easily understand how it is just a linear timeline that is formed into a circle.